Hello everyone, I'm Kako Kersey. Welcome back to my channel. Let's start with a, a moment of silence, please. Thank you. Um, I think it's very important to hold still and then I can think. That's how I feel. If I can't be calm, um, hold still, I can listen to my own heart beeping. I feel I can't really think. For the ancient jade, um, if that's for me, if I can't be quiet, think, I feel I really can't hear what the jade is talking. Um, we come here together to learn Asian Jade. I think this is just a method. At the end, our goal is to discover the inside ourself, the treasure we were born with. Um, just we are unique individuals. We have to learn by ourselves to discover the inside the treasure mm, we have. We already have it. We just don't know it. Um, so we are going through. Um, I hope um, by learning Jade uh, can help you to, to discover the treasure within you. Mm, okay, let's uh, start with this piece. Um, we have uh, seen a bunch of this uh, kind of Jade. Let's see. Uh, this too small. This yellow kind of jade um, covered with this brownish uh, patina. You see the surface. You see the reflecting the light, the way they make it. Um, well polished, but it's not a superly well polished as a middle part of a lounge so from this appearance and also from the design you see the design is a lovely little fish um, we have to study uh, hongshan fish compared with that you don't see that uh, uh, swift moving out any second that's lighting um, feeling from hongshan jade Instead, you see a lovely, fat, gentle little fish. This is the image, this is the um, taste early Liangzhu people has. You see this still in her from the Hongshan culture of Florence, uh, make this round the, the shape. This fish tail, you see the curved in and out, make a really like a realistic uh, fish tail feeling. The whole thing give you a totally different taste uh, from uh, Hongshan fish. And now I want to show you this one is um, people commonly believe Liangzhu people don't have many uh, animal featured uh, jade piece. Uh, part of that's uh, true. We see majority of Liangzhu jade is related with uh, cong and B disc, those kind of thing, heavy duty stuff. Uh, they do have this kind of uh, lovely small feature uh, jade in the animal shape. It's far less than uh, Hongshan culture. 
Hongshan people really like animal form the animals. They even put a different kind of form animal into one piece, uh, make those uh, mysterious, imaginative pieces. Uh, Liangzhou people have a different taste. They have this realistic and gentle, uh, kind uh, feature is their taste. So you see this jade material, we have, we see a bunch of this, is a kind of yellow jade. Mm, it's a stand with this light, uh, should I say, light brown, um, patina, and the tail you see this part is a curved in so this part is a slightly lighter light go through okay we covered um, jade material um, patina stain design and the craftsmanship I, I, I want to show you this part you see the eyes they made this the eyes you can see on all another Liangzhou pieces. Mm, this they use a bamboo to round it. This is the shape. You will see the two marks here. And also this part of the fish tail, you see it? This design is like a bird's feather. Um, early part of Liangzhou people including the middle part of they really you like this kind of a design to decorate their boar's feather and the fish tails mm, you we, we see them mm, we kind of design and for this thing one interesting thing is you notice there's two holes here right uh, the way they make it is the same as we have a study. They drilled from both sides, meet in the center. Mm. I want to mention, you may notice, you see there's a hole, it's kind of upside down. Fish, this is uh, the mouse, uh, this part is up. So they put the two holes here, that means you can't really wear this way have to be this way. If this way, the fish is upside down. Mm, have to be this way to make sense. So why they make a two holes here instead of here if they want to wear this pendant as a pendant? Uh, that's this part we don't really know yet. Uh, probably they use uh, hold on the wood stick, use it this way, and to hold the fish like this side up. Is it supposed to be this side? Uh, I want to mention this. This kind of an interesting feature, they put the holes on the belly of the fish, um, it's kind of upside down. What does that mean, uh, current moment? We don't know yet, except we assume that's the way they put a stand behind it to use. So this the fish is now the use like a pendant, more like a, a ceremony with a wood stick on the back to hold the fish this way or like a stand still for something. Uh, that's what we could think about it. Okay, um, I want to mention it as uh, I decided I will reduce the frequency to upload a video on YouTube from now um, because I want to pour my energy, my focus onto my book. Um, that's something I promised myself, uh, I, 
have to do it and I just have to do it. So uh, I will post uh, less frequent uh, video. Mm, meanwhile, uh, I already post a good amount of uh, video on YouTube. Uh, you should have uh, um, enough material to study. Uh, I hope you keep on study uh, no matter um, at the end you get it or not this is the method um, it's just a method uh, a tool to help you to discover the inside the treasure It's just uh, we're not uh, 20 some years anymore. Uh, I feel doing less is equal to doing more. Uh, we, we won't get uh, any um, smarter. Uh, you can't say that. Just uh, try to do less um, by paying attention to, to the details. We do less, we make less mistake, less obvious, stupid mistake. Um, I, I prefer that way. Um, you will feel most of our, our thing going through is a lot of a trouble we created by ourselves because we made ourselves too busy and uh, too crazy running around uh, and then we have to spend the effort to untie the mistake we made it uh, i think if we can get smarter is uh, doing less stay calm look inward um, doing less is e the same doing better and um, Nice mistake. Uh, that's my my feel. <laughs> okay, uh, let's close up with a, a moment of silence, please. Thank you, thank you for watching today. Uh, I will see you next time. <laughs>